So you guys knew Heather? Heather Ross. Uh, yeah. We had Middle Eastern history together, and uh, sometimes I'd see her around the student center, you know? She's always hanging out with Casey, you know? They just would sit there and just, like, check out dudes. Mm. And she was always working out at the fitness center. Remember, she was on the Stairmaster a lot. Not like it was going to make a difference, though. <laughs> <laughs> no, dude, you're thinking of Taffy. We're talking about Heather from history. Oh, gotcha. Would you say that Heather was faithful to her boyfriend, Sean? <laughs> faithful? <laughs> Well, I mean, I knew Sean more than these douchebags combined, and, I mean, Sean's a good dude. You know, sometimes we'd sneak into his room and give him the old finger credit card up the butt cheeks, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. But, you know, he got angry, but he was decent. I always loved that about Sean, but the one thing I can say for sure, that chick cheated on him, like, every other week, you know what I'm saying? Oh, okay, uh... They're just stories, man, that's it. Those douchebags that made up those stories of her sleeping around are the same ones that wanted to sleep with her but got turned down, right? Those are not Sean's friends. I knew her from, you know, our group writing sessions out here. I'd hold on the quad and you know, she was headstrong. Not some weak girl that had to have sex with everybody just to feel loved, right? That is a misconception if you ask me. Stay away. Leave Heather alone. You're the fucking antichrist. I can't say whether or not she was faithful to Sean, but Devoted. She was certainly devoted to a fault, I think. We hit it off when I taught her in creative writing last semester, and sometimes we'd go to lunch together. One day I noticed there was a bruise on her temple. She spoke about Sean with such trepidation. Were they a good match? Uh, no, they weren't a good match. Uh, I mean, she had a nice ass, so it made sense why he went for it, but no, they didn't fit. Yeah, yeah, big time slut. Uh, I already said that, man, dibs. She's dead, man! Taffy? In the face. Don't get me started on that Barry weirdo. She was freaked by that guy. Can't say I blame her. Barry would sit and watch us during our sessions from that bench over there. Like we didn't know what he was doing. She told me stories about how he was expelled from high school for taking nude photos of girls in the shower. She said that she went on some group date with him last year before she met Sean. She said it was awkward, obviously, and then she let it go. But he kept calling and calling her. So finally she starts seeing Sean and I guess that freaks him out. He is a bad dude. Totally had it for Heather and hated O'Hare with a passion. You know, now that you mention it, she did talk once or twice about some stalker types. Could have been your RA. Barry was in my class and well, we didn't really hit it off. So were any of you guys interested in dating Heather? Well, I mean, yeah, who hasn't thought about her like that? She's hot, but like, something about her seemed dirty. You know, like she had an STD or something, so I steered clear. My bone don't need that. Nobody's bone do, man, nobody's bone do. Hasn't stopped you before. Crush puss, what? I'm a savage. Heather was a lovely girl with a lot of potential, but she had a poor self-image and just not enough self-respect. She was one of the most painfully beautiful people I ever had the privilege of meeting. And I hope whoever watches this realizes that. She's a slut. I guess I didn't know her. Okay, all right, thanks guys. That's, that's all I'm gonna need. Cool, yeah. Good luck with your movie. Peace.